guys and welcome to my channel. I am Heather, this is Logan aka Stinky Rat Boy and thank you. And today, I'm sorry, I'm boring you. Today we're going to be doing a makeup collection, you guys asked for it, you guys get it. Um, so yeah I'm going to go through all my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I seem to have a me mental breakdown in the middle of it but <laughs> yeah that will get explained. So yeah. If you want to see that, please do keep on watching. Alright guys, so here is my desk. Ignore the fact that it has stuff on it. So first things first, we have these quints from Colourpop really disconcerting not being able to see 100% of what I'm filming. Uh, so I got the purple one in Cashmere Forever, I got Thai Society and Rumour Has It. These I got from Nina, so thank you Nina, um, go and check her out if you guys haven't already. I'm not going to bother with swatching them exactly, I've not used them yet so I might do a video on them. Um, I've had other cold pop ones that I have wanted to film with first, so that's them. Uh, and then we have the good old Wilderness palette. You guys will have seen this. I filmed with it not long ago. Um, the shimmers are beautiful. So if you don't have that yet, you should when it comes back in stock. Um, I probably should have filmed this video when I was feeling poorly. That would have been a lot more beneficial, I guess. But hey, you guys asked for this on Instagram recently, like since I filmed that video, so here we go. I've got the Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers. Uh, this is one that I'm not really 100% sure why I bought because it's a lot more neutral than I would normally go. Uh, the mustard is beautiful. This is really nice too, but I just don't reach for it that much. So you can see that some shades aren't even touched. Like, yeah. This is another one that I'm not quite sure why I bought it. It's the Unicorn by Pastel Roses. Very pretty. Just again, I don't really reach for it. I might have to do a declutter soon and sell some things. Uh, Pageant in Paris. I bought it because a look at this uh, color scheme. Like actually get them in the camera, Heather. That would help. Um, and second of all, it just made me really reminisce about when me and Jack went to Paris. Um, so I'm going to be doing a video on this one soon. Excuse the fact I'm still a bit snotty. The BH Trendy in Tokyo I got from the lovely Kerry. That's a wipe, not a tissue by the way guys, I'm not gross. Um, got it from Kerry. It is wonderful. It is as good as Daniela keeps going on about. This yellow especially. I know she keeps going on about it but it's really good. Um, it's just quite a nice concise rainbow palette uh, with a few slightly different shades like this isn't usual pink and you've got more of a proper blue rather than like a royal blue and stuff like that. You've got a few shimmers in there and this one is really nice as well. So yeah that's that one. I do really like the BH formula, so I'm going to be buying more of their stuff. This is the Blueberry Muffin that I cannot get out right now. Should have probably taken all these sleeves off before I started filming. This is one that I haven't used yet, as you can see. But it's another one. Daniela told me I needed it when I bought The Passion in Paris, and then she showed me swatches because she's a terrible influence. And yeah. So looking forward to playing with that one. I think it's going to be a great companion to the Passion in Paris as well. 
Um, I'm not really swatching many of these, but there's not loads of interesting shades in some of these. So the blush palette. This was my first. Um, was it my first? I think it was my first YouTube video. This palette. So this one's definitely staying. It's going to survive the declutter if I ever get down to it. Um, with all these turquoisey shades, purples, and you've got burgundies, and then if you really want to, you can go neutral, but we know that I don't go neutral on here. Um, this is another palette I need to use more, if I'm honest. But yeah. And then we have the very special... I don't know why some of these have sleeves and some of them don't, but I'm sporadic like that, apparently. The beautiful Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. I mean... These are just beautiful shades, even like some of the mattes. A really nice tones. So yeah, love that palette. Uh, swap this off. Next we have one that I very rarely use but I bought it when I was in very much into my shiny, well, like that, like I say that like it's past tense but very much into my shiny. Um, these are before I've discovered pastel roses so this hasn't really seen that much usage because pastel roses has obviously taken over. But yeah, it's pretty, they've got some, I like that all I'm swatching for you guys are shimmers. Like they're very nice. I've gone for the darkest ones possible apparently. Maybe I should use that more. Those are very nice. I got that on sale on uh either Little Fantastic or Beauty Bay. I can't remember which one it was. Um these two I got gifted from Jade. Thank you very much, Jade. Um I got the Naked and Naked Smoky for when I want to go a bit more neutral. They are wonderful. I know not everyone loves Urban Decay nowadays, but yeah, and this is another one that I got gifted from um, Jade, which is the Rain Palette by Sample. Uh, I really like the Sample's um, formula as well, but I just haven't reached for this one yet. I think I'm going to use this one on my next mythology video. Um, and then I've got the Hydrographic palette because, let's face it, I love blues and purples and the greens are nice. So, as Daniela says, I'm blue, da ba dee ba da da. The Beauty Bay pastels. Not as used as it probably should be because, I don't know, I guess I'm just really lazy at blending things out with another colour, but definitely worth it if you are debating it. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, let me just clear this pile out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The Lime Crime Aura, it looks like a dupe of Huda, or maybe uh, Norvina in the way that it's laid out, maybe. Oh, in my opinion. Um, haven't used it, haven't even swatched it yet. This is one that I'm debating selling, uh, so I'm not wanting to swatch it just yet. Beautiful packaging though. Uh, KVD. This is the Edge of Reality. This is the recyclable one. This is one that Danielle picked up for me in TK Maxx. Like, they feel so soft. I mean, look at them. I think I need to use this one more often. I was looking for X ray by Dose of Colours, but I think I might just use this instead because. Why not? It's got the shimmer that I want. Because I am a magpie. For those of you that are new here. I am a magpie. Excuse the fact that I'm using wipes, but it's the only way to get swatches off right now. Without taking you to my bathroom. 
and nobody wants me wants to go to my bathroom 27 million times. Uh, this is one of the first palettes that I bought back when I wasn't into makeup and without realising it is a Born to Run dupe that is rather well used because uh, that's literally the only thing I used to put on my lid uh, with a bit of this in there so yeah it's nothing special I just got it off Amazon um, this one is Yet another blue palette. Why are we surprised? It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I mean, I'm running out of dry spots on my hand. Like, you guys will have seen that on Mrs. Channel, I'm sure. Again, this is one that I got through Nina. If anyone wants a link to Nina's chat. Do let me know. Excuse the fact I've got a bottle on my wrist as well. Professional over here. Yeah, uh, this is another one from Nina. This is going to be a running theme apparently. Um, haven't used it yet. I keep waiting for inspiration to hit me with this palette. It hasn't quite got there yet. I'm not quite sure why. I was really excited when I first bought it and then I'm just a bit like, oh, okay. And then, good old Blue Mood from Colourpop. Got this with the 30% off sale. Haven't used it yet, but I'm not going to swatch yet more blue shimmers for you, but they are beautiful. Uh, this one is like an opalescent, like a topper. And I'm not going to swatch yet more blues for you because we have this one coming as well. You guys have seen me use this one. Um, you can see where my phone landed in it. Um, the shimmers in this were a bit disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but you know that from my video. The teal colours are beautiful, but yeah, the shimmers aren't anything to write home about. The Lush palette is one that I bought from Missa. Um, I blame An Angie for making me buy it. Haven't used it yet because this is another one I'm just waiting for inspiration to hit. And like the packaging's beautiful, and you, I love some, of, I love these colours. It's not as neutral as I thought it was going to be, but yeah, just waiting to find an opportunity to use this one because I keep going back to the same sort of palettes. This one, Missa made me do it because it's a dupe to the Huda not even used it yet and I'm not quite sure why I bought it because of how uh, neutral it is. It seems to be a theme in this video is I'm not sure why I bought it. I need to stop buying my feelings. Um, yeah, I still even got the plastic on it so I might sell this one on. We'll see. Let's move this pile out of the way. And then we have the next lot. We have another one that Miss made me buy, the, excuse me, sir, thank you, the Technic Matte. I don't love it anywhere near as much as I thought I would after she raved about it. Because, I don't know, I just found it a bit, meh. Got the Viseart Dark Edit Palette. Another one that I'm gonna sell probably. I literally swatch that one and that one. Yeah. I don't know. Again, stop buying your feelings. Uh, this one is staying, staying solidly in my collection. Uh, this is the Book of Magic. It's beautiful. I used it on my Heracles video, I think. Um, am I gonna swatch more shimmers for you? Yes. I feel mean doing this because it's not available anymore, but like, ugh. I'm not glitter on this hand. I don't think that's coming up, but bloody hell. 
Uh, Sunset Horizons. This is another present from Jade. I the nicest friends. Um, this one, get it while it's still available from Butte Bay because, again, beautiful. I really like Butte Bay's formula, especially the shimmers. I need to stop talking about shimmers, really, uh, because you can't do a look full of shimmers, or can you? Maybe you can. Maybe I'll try that one day. Anyway, yeah, beautiful palette. You need it in your collection, basically. Mine's a bit of a mess. Fade into Hue. This one I blame Kerry for, but I got it from Nina. Um, I know not everyone likes press glitters, but these are beautiful in here. Um, another one that I need to use more. I tend to go for the bright mattes when I go for a rainbow palette, but I definitely need to use this one more. Just because, like... Like I said, I know press glitters aren't everyone's thing, but... I really don't mind them and look how pretty. Excuse me camera, focus please. Focus. Thank you. Yeah. This video isn't anywhere near as long as I thought it was gonna be because I've got two and a half piles left. Juvia's Wahala 2. Again, beautiful palette beautiful beautiful palette it's got this amazing duochrome in there that goes like pink to olive colour I don't know if that to green I don't know if you guys are getting that on camera maybe if I pick the actual palette up there you go yeah that's beautiful the quality is amazing I'm gonna film with this soon I think is the plan saying that about a lot of videos, a lot of palettes. You can be filling, fruit pie filling, do, I know what I'm saying. This one I bought after Daniela showed me swatches, it's another Amazon special. Um, quality amazing, especially like I think it was like a tenner for the palette. Yeah, would recommend. Kaleidoscopic Dreams, this is Tiffany who was on um, Glow Up, that's her Instagram if anyone's interested. It's a mess but again well loved, it doesn't look as used as it is but it is a beautiful palette I would definitely recommend especially like you can see I've really dug into some of these. Yeah, would recommend this one. And then on to the next pile. This is the second to last pile. Uh oh. We have. Excuse me, human shot. Thank you. The Essence Daily Dose of Love palette. This is from my fourth phase of Essence. It's a bit meh. But. It's here, so. Painter's palette. Love this one. Again, how many rainbow palettes does a girl need? A lot, apparently. Um, it is an ongoing joke that I have so many rainbow palettes, but yeah, it's got some really interesting tones in it, like Tinkerbell and Summer and stuff like that. Jojo is beautiful, but it will stay in you. It will stay in you. Uh, I use this again on my mythology videos uh, if you haven't seen that there is a playlist on my channel and I would highly recommend this silver is amazing I like the fact there's not loads of shimmers in here there's just the odd it's a silver and there's a gold and there's like a ready one but yeah I don't really know who Beth Painter is because I, I haven't watched her channel but yeah she I really like her palette uh, Beauty Babe and Mitchell I've lost a sleeve somewhere, which is ironic considering I have other sleeves that I don't need, but yeah. Um, really nice, really nice quality. Again, doesn't look that used right now, but it is, I promise. Um, 
does need to get used more. I wish they would bring it back because I think uh, it would do really well. But hopefully now that Mitchell has been stocked by Beauty Bay again, it will come back because I know a lot of people missed out on that. The Be Perfect Carnival. Love this one. I actually prefer this one over Tahiti. Come at me. Don't care. If there's very much more my colour scheme over Tahiti, but they are both beautiful. I'm glad I have them both because I use them both together a lot. I'm very excited for the fourth one. Speaking of the Tahiti, like I said, I'm really glad I have them both. This one was just a bit more pinky for me, um, more than I would normally go for. Um, but they work very well together. Uh, I think Stacey Marie's done a really good job. And I am, like I said, very excited for number four. I don't have number one because that was before I was into makeup, but yeah, very, very happy I have them both. I feel like we're going to have an avalanche here in a minute. Um, my Jenga skills are not what they used to be. This one is new to me. I'm keeping this sleeve because it is beautiful. Like, look at that. Look at it. And then, Flower Punk. You guys have seen this on a million channels, I'm sure. I love this slidey mirror. There I am. Um, haven't even touched it yet. Uh, it arrived and then I had to go to work. But yeah, it is beautiful. Kaleidos did a really good job. I love the formula of the nebula, so I'm sure I love the formula of the flower bunk. Um, this is another one from Nina. I told you we were going to have an avalanche. Speaking of Nina, the Wahala one. It's been out of stock on Juvia's website for ages. We get the ring light reflection out the way. Um, not even touched it yet. Still got plastic on. Because it came the same time as Flower Punk and I've been on work. So yes, very, very excited about this one. Um, Tia kept telling me how good it was. So here we are. Now I have both Wahalas. And I'm very happy about it. Now we're on to certify the Tropical Wonders palette. Oh look! Another rainbow palette. You guys don't need to come for me. I'm well aware of how many rainbow palettes that I have. Trust me. I know. Um, yes. Beautiful. Bought it from Daniela. Very happy that I did. Because again, it's just got some... It's a rainbow palette, but it's got some interesting shades in there. And that is how I justify it to myself. Like, fruit da dove. No, it said fruit dive. Firefish. Honey Creeper, it's just got some nice shades in there. Coast is a really nice, like, pastel colour. Don't come for me. I'm aware of my rainbow problems. Then we have the Certify Affinity 2 palette. I nearly called it that, but it's down here. Excuse me. Uh, this is bluey greeny goodness. Um, this one I bought from a sausage. And it is, again, beautiful. Like, look at these two. Focus, focus, focus. Thank you. Like, this one's more of a topper, but. Look how pretty they are. The Beauty Bay Bright Mats, of course. This is my favourite shade ever, Sea Mist. I say ever, in this palette, my favourite shade. And yeah, as you can see, most of the bees have come off because I use it all of the damn time. And then the last big palette before the special ones is the extravaganza you can see where lovely Logan has stood on it because 
apparently he hates me. Um, no, I'm kidding. I know he loves me. Um, yeah, so we try and get it all of it in shot. Really nice highlighted colours slash inner corner colours. It's anything you need. It's a lot better quality than some of the other Revolution stuff. But yeah, I haven't reached for it as much as I should have because the bright mats came into my life and that's what I reach for more. Now here we have what I call the special palettes. Oh yes. We have the Natasha Denona Mini Tropic. Which is got fingerprints all over it. Beautiful. Beautiful goodness. Honestly, I cannot fault the Natasha formula. I know um, she's expensive. I'm aware. Um, I tend to get her on sale if I can, but yeah, she is beautiful. The mini xenon, which you guys saw not long ago, literally in my last video, you've already seen that. So I'm not going to swatch that one for you. Got the mini Zendo palette, which was part of my birthday gift off Jade. Again, beautiful, a nice little neutral one. I think this one and this one will be coming to Edinburgh with me next month. Yes, next month. Because um, I think I'm going to get... I'm not going to go, like, all out bright looks when I'm in Edinburgh, I don't think, because... I want to spend time exploring and not <laughs> spend all my time um, doing makeup. Club Nebula. Oh. <laughs> they need to bring this back. It is a beautiful palette. Like again, it will stain you again, but that's what conceal is for the next day. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful palette <laughs> with Angelica, who is. Honestly, she's amazing. I love watching her content. Um, she is what I call one of my comfort channels. I don't know if that's a thing that people have, but that's what I call it, basically. Her content just makes me happy. Um, she, like, she made a vlog about supermarket shopping and I still watched it. Because that is who I am. And then we are getting into Swatch City now, so I'm going to get another wipe. Um, the Sunrise palette, as you will notice, all of my Natasha's are in the boxes because that is where they live. This one, I love the packaging, but I wish it wasn't so bloody fingerprint prone. Um, again, more neutral than I would normally go, but oh my god, I love it. I like this. Camellia shade with glow. It's just so pretty. So pretty. Those are my kind of neutral shades, like mustards and burgundies, and even like a burgundy brown is my kind of neutral. And yeah. I realise saying that mustard and burgundy aren't technically neutrals, but. Now, this beauty. This one. This was the other part of my birthday present from Jade because she is a wonderful, wonderful human being. And I love her and this palette very much. I know a lot of people had issues with this colour story. Some people had issues with the formulas working together. I've had none of that. I love, love, love this. I am so happy that this is in my collection. Yeah, it is beautiful like do we want swatches probably like look at that just one swipe I love this palette like beautiful beautiful things <laughs> right, my nose is not my friend today 
I am feeling a lot better though. My nose just sounds awful. So I apologise for all of the sniffing and stuff in this video. Alright, so... Pastel roses time. This is why I made sure to wear short sleeves so that you guys can... Oh no, what has happened? Oh no! Okay, these have apparently dropped somewhere. Uh oh. Okay. You guys like to see me have an existential crisis right on... Well, not on camera, but next to the camera. Uh, okay. Which one's broke? Nightwolf. Oh no. Okay. I'll fix that shortly. Um, here's one of my palettes. Is the other one okay? Okay, the other one's fine. I don't know why this one's dropped. This is my second casualty from Pastel Roses because Cupcake Brook, which is what is all over here as well. Um, they have a very stained palm. So I think I'll be swatching on my arm. So I'm glad I wore short sleeves for this part of the video. And uh, yeah, so. We have marooned. Can we see this? Where are we? There we go. Just spoily blue purple. We have I have two of the same shade. How did I not know this? I was about to say these two look very similar. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? If anybody wants marooned, let me know. Because apparently I have two and didn't even realise. Now Night Wolf, I'm going to be very careful when I swatch. Beautiful blue. Shocking. Me. Liking blue. This one is Malagueta. This is one of my absolute faves. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Then we have doo -doo -doo -doo, Violet. Much more of a like a iridescent purple. Are you guys seeing this? It's really hard to tell with my setup right now. And then we have Constellation. I'm trying to give you guys as good a swatches as I can right now. And then we have Cupcake. Fight a stroke! I feel like I have. I'm sure Cupcake is one that broke. This is a nice lilac-y pinky. Excuse me while I just have this existential crisis because I have no idea what's broken now and what isn't. Just uh I'm not going to swatch these mattes for you because no one is really interested in mattes. So we've got Universe, which is one of my faves. It's a proper holographic black base beautifulness. Then we've got Osiris, yes. I've got Heavy Metal, which is very similar to um, universe but it's got less of a black base to it and then we have, which one's this one? Outer Space which is the blue version so what we have in this palette I need to double check what broke then the other day did I have two cup? what is wrong with me? I am just look how pretty I'm just a mess did I put the cupcake back in and not realise? possibly Hmm. Send help. Send help. Okay. Here is the final palette. Da -da -da -da. This one is safe, at least. This one hasn't dropped anywhere yet. Um, this is AB ABH Noir, so I'm not going to bother showing you that. Um, just dry my arm off a little bit. So they swatch well. Um, I'm going to go. Let's go 
down column wise. So you've got super hot. Got a state of my fingers, honestly. Parrot. And super hot's gone all over this one. Barbados. One's got a whole bunch of other colours falling in it. I really need to use Barbados more. You see these? Yes. And then we've got da, 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 Snowdonia, Cinnabar Rose, Amazonia, and Interstellar. Stand back up so you guys can actually see what I'm swatching. So Snowdonia is more of a topper. Ignore the fact I've got Barbados in there. Professional, don't you know? Cinnabar Rose, which is beautiful. Amazonia. And Interstellar, which is a, like a black base with lilac-y on there. I think I might be able to get one more row in if my arm will bend that way. We have Daisy, Beetle, Nymph, and Nightfall coming up. Clean my hand. So Daisy, Beetle, Nymph, Nightfall. There you go. Again, Daisy's another top of the inner corner. Beetle is a brown with a blue tint in there. Nymph is just a pure beautiful green and Nightfall is like a violet with blue in there. In fact, I'm trying to describe these colours to you guys that you can quite clearly see. <laughs> but I feel like I need to say something after my slight breakdown at the last palette. Super hot will stain you, I will warn you, um, but it is a beautiful pink. Next row we have Charmed, Gold Rush. Right, I have definitely had a stroke because... What is wrong with me? How do I have another nymph? I definitely didn't order two nymphs and blueberry. I think I've had a stroke, guys. Either that or I just black out when I'm ordering from Pastel Roses and just go, all the colours. I don't know. But I'm not swatching nymph for you again. Like, what is wrong with me? Let's not open that door, shall we? So we have... Those three, and then we have Starfish. This one's Jupiter, I believe. Yep. Forest. And Aurora. I just like to say, I don't have to dig into these, these are just literally swirling my finger on them. This one is especially good for like grungy glam looks. And then the final row we have Sweet Peach, we have Teal, which is not very teal, Hunter, and Witch Head. Yep. Which head is a duochrome that's purple to blue. It is amazing. Yeah. 
be getting that in. Yeah. Happy. That's not do it. Uh, purple. Blue. Yeah. So that's it. That's the last palette. If you guys want to see a lipstick collection, I'm sure I could do that for you, but I don't have many interesting shades, I guess. But I don't think you guys would want to see a makeup collection, so yeah, let me know. And if anyone can explain how I have duplicate shades of things, that would be great. So yeah. Editing Heather here. Um, I didn't have two cupcakes. Well, it's got confetti. But I don't know why I have two nymphs. Or two... Um, marooned. I don't know. But yeah. Um, at least I've not got three duplicates. Anyway. Back to regular Heather. So that is it guys, that is the whole kit and caboodle of my eyeshadow palettes. I'm not quite sure why I have duplicates or some of them pastel rose shades, I'm not sure I've got them free, I don't know. I'll have to look back to my order history and wonder if I had a stroke. I don't know. Um, so yeah. That's... I don't know. That is it from us. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks!